Hey guys, what's up? So it's your boy Yashia Gaming. Well, if you're new to the channel, guys, I would like you to kill me and smash that little subscribe button. I want you to ring that bell notification. Okay, so yeah, guys, there was a brand new update, an official update was released with this current Zen. And uh, today I'm gonna explain to you uh, how it works. Okay, brand new update version uh, 2.1 beta 68 for PS5 okay console all right so i'm gonna explain to you how you're gonna uh set this up okay how you're gonna update the firmware reset hard reset and so on all right so first of all what you need to do guys um you would like to connect this chrono send to your pc okay so this is a setup cable all right so this right here is a setup cable so what you need to do um okay so if you flip the zen right here you will notice a small uh reset button this is a reset button so you'll need to press on it like this keep holding and pressing keep pressing but i holding this the reset button down and then in the meanwhile you're gonna plug this thing into your pc Okay, just like that this is a Zen so I'm gonna flip the Zen I'm gonna keep pressing the reset button which is right here I'm gonna press on it and then I'm gonna enter this into the into the PC okay. and just like that it's going to say uh, Zen bootloader okay give me a second Right, you're gonna see it's going to say Zen bootloader on the OLED screen. Okay. okay, so the next step is you wanna open this CM update tool, okay, beta 68. Just double click it and click this and click begin update. Alright, so you will have to wait. Okay. Alright, so once you see update completed, close this. Alright. Now you can eject. So you have to eject the corner Zen. Okay, so I'm gonna eject this. Alright. And now okay, the next step is you uh, the next thing that you want to do is to hard reset the Zen. Okay, so to hard reset the Zen is by pressing the P1 and P2 button okay so this is a P1 and this is a P2 okay P1 P2 so you'll need to press on the P1 and then P2 okay so you'll need to uh, keep pressing the P1 and P2 while inputting this again onto your PC okay so what will happen you'll notice this the LED right here the LED will flash red green blue which will indicate a successful hard reset by erasing all the memory slots and putting your Zen back to factory default okay now we have to reset the Zen okay so by doing that so I'm gonna press the P1 and P2 while entering this into the PC, all right. So here I go, and you're gonna notice the LED, okay, right here. It will flash red, green, blue. Okay, so let's do that. Keep pressing while entering the USB cable. Okay. Oh, my bad. All right let me redo that okay so the zen cam just all right so i'm gonna press the p1 and then the p2 and now i'm gonna enter this and you're gonna notice the led light okay the led light will flash red green blue okay red green blue and then it's going to say zen 
So once you see that, that means you have successfully done it. Okay. So the next step is you're gonna eject this. All right. So you're gonna have to remove this, the short cable. You're gonna remove it, and now all you have to do is to insert the prog cable. Okay, the prog cable to the right hand side. Okay, just like that. Okay guys, so now what you need to do, you need to reset all the Zen Studio settings. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna open this Zen Studio Beta 46. So once it open, just click uh, tools and then reset Zen Studio. Okay, click yes and wait for it, wait for the Zen Studio to restart back. Okay just like this it will restart back click this click this uh, if it shows please wait just click on device and go back to program okay and the please wait will go away all right okay so after you've done that just go to device and make sure that all your settings are like this okay okay make sure this uh, Enable PS4 speciality and enable PS remote play. These two are both disabled and this one should be on O2. Alright, this on O2. Okay, now all you have to do go back to compiler just like this and I'm going to find a script. So I'm going to click file, open, okay, choose a location desktop. Right, just like that and then all I'm gonna do I'm gonna click the programmer and then I will click this dotted lines which is GPC scripts and it should be right here I'm gonna put it on the slot number one once this done <clears throat> I'm just gonna click on the play button okay I'm just gonna click on the play button which says program device so it's now been saved onto the corner Z. I'm just gonna wait until it says success done. Okay, now I can close this. I can now, um, okay. So once you close the Zen Studio, guys, you can now remove the prog cable. Okay, you don't need the prog cable anymore. So remove the prog cable and yeah so once you remove the prop cable guys just connect this okay just connect the this thing right here just connect this and then just go ahead okay right here this one plug it into your ps5 and remember guys um the PS5 controller will go onto the A1 port, which is on the left hand side. Now, if you'd like to use crossover, okay, crossover controllers such as Xbox One, uh, PS4 controllers, then you wanna put it on the A3 port, which is at the bottom right hand side. Uh, say if you'd like to use keyboard and mouse, okay, for keyboard and mouse, it's going to be your mouse will be on the A2 port and the and your keyboard will be on the A3 port right here under the bottom left hand side will be your mouse bottom right hand side will be your keyboard and of course the PS5 controller or the edge controller whatever for PS5 it will be at the left hand side which is A1 port okay if you do want scripts like uh, Apex scripts or Rust, uh, any card games, okay, any COD games, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, Fortnite. Well, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description. You're gonna uh, go there, join my Discord server, and you're gonna find the kind of scripts, 16-bit scripts, 32-bit scripts as well.